With school about to start, thoughts are turning to the three R's, which today we will call reading, reading, and more reading. We are so excited to welcome back Craig Demchak, the Director of Communications for the Harry and Jeanette Weinberg Foundation, alongside Lisselle Harry. She is the Program Associate of Education. The Weinberg Foundation is partnering with us through our parent company's Scripps Howard Foundation by co-sponsoring the If You Give a Child a Book campaign, and they are joining us now. Welcome, you two. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. So tell us a little bit more about this library project. So the project started back in 2011, the idea started back in 2011, yes. and the project is in its seventh year, and it's a collaborative effort between Baltimore City, the Harry and Jeanette Weinberg Foundation, and over 40 community and government partners, all yes. towards the goal of academic achievement. Absolutely. To renovate libraries. To in, renovate libraries. In some of the most challenging neighborhoods in Baltimore City. It's so great to be a part of this. I know here at WMAR, we have been collecting money for the books and, you know, really getting excited about it as a team here but talk about you've got some pictures of these amazing spaces that you have transformed at some of these schools talk about what this process has been like and the impact it's been a very some sometimes a very challenging process <laughs> I but can imagine. it's the end goal is what matters and um, the excitement of the kids I mean every every yeah. library we have sort of a, a big yeah. reveal of the, the new library space they get a sneak preview oh, they do. and to see them yeah. come in and to see their eyes sort of light up and just the excitement they yes. have to be able to to really get a feeling that hey somebody cares about me enough to do a new space like this yes. with this kind of technology well staffed well equipped it's fantastic I mean and the pictures I mean even I had a moment just now like ooh because yeah. the, the colors are bright and the furniture's plush and you, you've got the maps on the floor and even the lighting is really bright so when you're walking in it feels like an experience it's an inviting space and a lot of these serve as not just a library for the school but a community hub as well parents yes. are engaged there are a lot of aspects of the libraries and I feel like the library the way that we think of it has evolved over time right so yes. when I was a kid I remember you go to the library, you get your books, you go home. Now you go to the library for everything. You get your yes. books, you get your audiobooks, you can do arts and crafts, you can do 3D printing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really is, I mean, it's, it's books and beyond. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, so this is great. It's really, really great. And now you've also got something with your foundation. It's an employee giving grant. Describe what that is because your employees are very happy about it. <laughs> it is, it is a, indeed a, a, a great gift. And I wanted to make a distinction that this would normally not be part of our grant making, the Weinberg Foundation. We have a very rigorous grant making process. Mm -hmm. We fund nonprofits that uh, provide direct services to low income individuals and families. This is a wonderful program. It wouldn't normally align, but for the employee giving program, our trustees and president give us a little more latitude. A little legal room there. Uh, the, yes. the details of the program, in short, every employee, every employee is. Uh, given $20,000 to direct to the nonprofit of their choice. This year we had 33 employees, a total of $660,000 granted in one day. As you indicate, my choice was to uh, help fund the Scripps Howard Foundation campaign wow. for If You Give a Child a Book. It marries well with our library project, yes. and we couldn't be more excited. That is exciting. You just you literally just gave me goosebumps. <laughs> you guys should see. I'm, I'm not joking. That is wonderful. What a gift that the employees are able to invest in their community in a way that is very impactful for them. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it really helps all of us to connect even more personally with the grant making that we do as a foundation organizationally yes. to really see the meaning and impact of these grants. And that impact is huge. I mean, I have a daughter. She's five years old. She's just learning to read. And I just feel like it opens up so many doors for them. They, they see the world in a different way very quickly. So to think about this in our own community, I mean, I know it's got to feel good. It's great. Yeah. And the, the impact is, is much more. You allude to this. We all think about reading as the adventure, the imagination of reading, but really this is a tool for literacy. And that's why it's so important yes. to us. Numerous studies clearly demonstrate the impact of early childhood literacy and success in school, success in life. So I, I just would encourage all the viewers who hopefully are going to contribute to this. Yes. It's more than just a book. It's more than just the pleasure factor, the adventure factor. Right. This is really a tool for success. You're investing early, you're yes. investing in your community early, and that you trickles forward throughout future generations. Definitely. Helps everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Of course, people who want to donate to the campaign can visit our website. Very easy. Just go to WMAR2news.com slash books. Easy to remember. Craig and Lucille, thank you for being here. And thank we'll be you. right thank back you. with more Midday Maryland right after this.